there we go coming up to another little display the rebuilding construction in full swing buildings going up everywhere here we go stop the video and have a bit of a read of that as you can see on these little bits even in Kamai the expansion the sprawl and industrialization of Cambodia probably not as much expansion back in the days but this is a relatively recent photo and it's one big thing that I can tell you how I know this is a more recent photo and if you can guess put it in the comments below you can probably see another little bit there these are the more recent video or pictures from the ones that I'm looking at directly in front not to the side anyway if you haven't guessed by now traffic lights these are only installed in 2019 these ones here there's your traffic lights there little signal down there and there is your new traffic lights there that's how I know this is new that's obviously these pictures were taken a little bit further down there so that's how I know that and I was here when they uh, last year when they just installed them and testing them so these are relatively recent pictures uh, probably some a few years ago as well but then you see them going back in time to around a lot of the pictures and as you can see the construction there of the uh, riverside going back a few years now we'll just walk right around the whole lot that's a new recent addition of about three years ago I think the overpass I remember them building that took a took about uh, two years to do gets used quite a fair bit makes a big difference but in a congested town every little bit helps some more traditional housing how people lived over the years with what they could gather from what they earned to build their house with their little urns that's their water supply so yeah Times are changing and changing very quick at a very rapid rate. So you can see how they build it, getting right into it and getting further out. Cam City. That's another hint that these are recent photographs. And here we have a look at uh, the factories further out. And from the ones that I know, you got them further out over there. And then you do have them on the opposite side of where I pointed in the city, then past the airport, heading on National Highway 4. Garment shops, or as most people will call them, sweatshops. Good, bad, indifferent, but it gives them some sort of employment and some sort of income. And there again, garment workers, schools, that's more the schools there. Garment work, or more so the workers going into the factories whether it's garments or whatever, I don't know. Getting training and so forth before they start. There you go. Into the factories and manufacturing. It's obviously garment. More garments, yep. That's all garment workers. Exactly where I couldn't tell you. It'd be really good if they had said where it is. And when they reclaimed a lot of land, people just used whatever they could find to build. And a little bit of concrete, bit of wood some tiles whatever they could forage up to have a house and that's the most important thing for a lot of people this is a relatively recent one because you've got a nice tall building there and a huge crane just there and I love these old photos of your aerial shots and sad fact is well to a point this is all floodplain they're reclaiming a lot of land when the monsoon comes in floods the area it floods the area as you can see along here, even on this photo just along here, I'll bring the camera up a bit. That's all floodplain, all rice paddies. They're claiming a lot of it. And at Tuckmau, that's exactly what happens. That's all floodplain. Right along here, you can see it all along there, everywhere around here, rice fields. 
even up on the top photo there <coughs> and they raised it up and used this road here to ma manage to get their way around and that gives you another idea on the river system how it all goes ever changing ever changing industrial area how can you tell have a look you see trucks containers right near a major road with housing close by all for the workers these are all the industrial factories all along the top there container truck yards containers building new houses for people to live close by so they don't have to pay for transportation every little bit helps and even down there anyway on to the next one